Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to clean up your Illustrator workspace. Chances are your workspace looks something like this, where all your panels are sort of pushed around, everything's kind of stacked on top of each other, it's really hard to find certain things, you're constantly moving panels around to find what you need. So let me show you how to get this organized. A couple things that people don't know, you can merge panels together. You can do this a couple different ways. The first is to create sort of these tabbed, sort of file folder type of panels. So let's do that with two logical panels the color and the swatches panels. I'm going to take the swatches panel and I'm going to drag it into the color panel until I see the thick blue outline go around the entire edge of the color panel. You'll notice depending on where I drop this I may see a horizontal line versus an entire outline. I want to see the entire outline around the color panel in blue. Once I see that I'll release and now I've merged these two. I've kind of put them in a file folder. Let's keep merging these together. I'm going to take the gradient and put that in there. And whoops, I didn't actually drag it into it. I dragged it on top. So again, you have to pay attention. If I see the thick blue outline all the way around it, that's going to drag it into them as a file folder. I can switch these around depending on what order I want them in. Alternatively, if I see just a blue horizontal line, I can snap the panels together and attach them going top to bottom. So I can continue to layer these as I want them organized. And let's just get a couple more snapped on here. I'll drag the stroke down there and the align. I'll put that in with my stroke. Now, depending on what projects you're working on and what tools you use in Illustrator, you may want yours organized a little bit differently. I'm just showing you how to do this and then you can decide what panels you want available to you. The other thing I like to have set up in my workspace is the window application frame. I like to have that turned on. So what that does is it sort of forces Illustrator to uh, fit your entire screen. And what I mean by that is if I turn this off, you'll notice I can kind of see my desktop underneath here and everything else. And it just kind of doesn't create a very tidy workspace. So with that turned on, it takes up the entire screen. It also allows me to take these panels that I've now organized and I drag them over to the far right and I see a vertical blue line. Once I see that vertical blue line, I'm going to drop my panels there and it kind of snaps them into this far right hand corner. You may also have these panels set up right here on this little uh, control bar. Now these are great. You can access them really quickly and sort of make them go away. So these might be panels that you use sometimes but not a ton. If you do want to pull any panels out of this that you do use a ton, you can simply drag them out and then take them over and merge them into this sidebar here where you have all your other panels. Now with this, I'm going to take this from the very top, not, grab, not grabbing the X and not grabbing the double arrows, but just right in between there until I see the black arrow. And I'm going to snap this in over on the right hand side until I see the vertical blue line and I'm going to drop that right there. So now all these panels are really nice tidy over here. My artboard is never going to accidentally be hidden by one of these floating panels, right? I really like to have all my panels snapped over on the side. The same thing is true for your toolbar over on the left here. I can grab this from the top and I'm going to push it over to the far left until I see the blue vertical line. I'll snap that in there and now that panel is snapped in there. My artboard is now completely self-contained. Again, I don't have any floating panels that are going to be covering up my artwork. Everything's nice and tidy. From here I can save this. I'm going to come up to Window, Workspace, and I'll choose New Workspace. And I'm going to call this Heidi Demo. Once I've saved that, I'll choose OK. Now you'll notice over here at the top of the control bar, I see that name of the workspace. I also have a few other workspaces that I work with. So I can switch between these workspaces depending on what tools I use frequently uh, for different types of projects. And that'll expose the panels for those different types of projects. If this isn't showing up, you can just come up to Window, Workspace, and you see all those here. Now, something that might happen as you're working is you might start to drag some of these out for whatever reason. You might accidentally close them. This whole thing may become detached from your workspace. If things start to get a little bit sloppy and you start losing panels that you need, the great thing about having saved these workspaces is just coming back up to this drop down, choosing Reset, whatever workspace you are on, or resetting or reselecting a new one from this drop down here. So I can just choose line sheets and it brings me back to that. So you can constantly switch between these depending on what project you're working on. Now, Fashion Flats did bring us back to this sort of messy workspace that I have here. 
I can come down either window or under here and I can just choose reset. Once I reset it, it resets to what I had it saved as before and I can keep working. So doing this is a much quicker way than continually opening and closing the different panels you have from your window drop down, and really saves you a lot of time and creates a nice tidy workspace for designing in Illustrator. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm So Heidi. I'll see you soon.